Many videos on YouTube talk about Python or JavaScript or even C++ as the first language to learn if you want to get a job in software development. I would say that even before you think about which one of these programming languages to pick, that you need to learn something else first. And it isn't hard to learn, and it'll give you some quick wins to get you started. So that's HTML. Yeah, I know that some of you guys are going to say that that's not really a programming language, and that's because it's actually a markup language, but that doesn't make it any less important. In fact, most of the ways that information is displayed for a user are going to require HTML at some level. Many programmers will use their language of choice, like Python or JavaScript, to generate this HTML. So you still need to know what the basics are in order to do that. So let's talk about HTML and why it should be really the first thing that you learn on your software job journey. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's the standard markup language for creating web pages. HTML is used to create the structure and the content of a web page, and it's interpreted by the web browsers to display the page to the users. HTML consists of a series of elements such as headings, paragraphs, links, and images that are denoted by tags, which are enclosed in angle brackets. These tags are used to specify the structure and the format of the content on the page. HTML is a very simple and flexible language, and it allows developers to create dynamic and interactive web pages. So why is HTML a great first language to learn? Well, if you're interested in web development, it's a must. HTML provides a solid foundation for building the web pages, and it's relatively easy to learn compared to these other programming languages. It is a markup language, like I said before, which means that it's used to define the structure and the content of a web page rather than the behavior. So as a result of that, it's a great starting point for learning web development because it gives you a clear understanding of how web pages are built and what they consist of. So here's a simple example of an HTML5 document. So first off, we've got this doc type tag, and this is important so that the browser knows that this is HTML. Then we've got this parent HTML tag. Everything else is going to go inside of this HTML tag. In HTML, every opening tag must have a closing tag. There are a few exceptions to this, but in general, this is the case. So the next thing we've got inside of the HTML tag is the head tag, and we're just going to put a simple title here. This is the text that shows up in the web page title. Next we have the body. We're just going to add a little bit of basic content here to the body with a header. This H1 means the largest header that we have, and here we'll use this P tag. This means paragraph. This is just for a block of text. There are tons of HTML tutorials already on YouTube, so we're not really going to go much more into this. I'll leave some links in the description of some ones that I like. So once you have a good understanding of HTML, you can begin to learn other technologies like CSS, which is used to style the web page pages, and JavaScript, which is used to add interactivity to web pages. These technologies work together to create dynamic and interactive websites. Overall, if you're interested in web development and you want to build a foundation for your skills, HTML is a great place to start. Check out this playlist for more information. Feel free to leave any questions that you have for this in the comments section.